and it was just the most amazing experience i think being in a way immortalized on a disney film that my own grandchildren and my own children will get to see so i was really excited about that and my daughter has already seen aladdin and she knows jasmine to be mommy she hears the voice and she goes mommy <laughs> she's a pretty sharp kid <laughs> she knows mommy mommy the international success of aladdin demonstrated what broadway and the west end already knew that leia salonga was a truly remarkable singer for it was with the musical hit miss saigon that her international career really started her acceptance as the lead character kim is a memory she won't soon forget it didn't hit me just how big of a deal this actually was until i got to london um to begin rehearsals and found myself whisked away into a field of photographers at the airport as in jet lag or jet lagged and there's no makeup and i don't know what, I, what the heck i was wearing and um i just remember my picture being taken by photographers and like wow this is a big deal and then i'd see my face in the papers and oh my goodness this 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 is a big deal miss saigon took the world of theater by storm premiering in london on september the 20th 1989 and on broadway in 1991 The musical saw Leia in a powerful performance that garnered her critical acclaim and the most prestigious of awards. I won the Laurence Olivier Award in London and I won the Tony Award, the Drama Desk Award, Outer Critics Circle Award, um and the Theatre World Award because it was my Broadway debut. Um yeah people were calling it, it was like the grand slam of of broadway and there are other great awards to get um but f- as far as being a musical theater actress was concerned those were the ones that i think we were nominated for and got um and i i was just very fortunate in that the role was i'd i'd like to say that the role is kind of foolproof and that any actress who plays it will do well in it and it doesn't matter um the level of skill it doesn't it really doesn't matter because i wasn't i mean i was trained by a lot of people but not to the extent that i could call upon the technique just like that and i was not so skilled to have to be able to do that and there were there were far more skilled people compared to me so i was just incredibly fortunate that here was a role that was just so with with such magnitude in terms of its range and its scope that I mean I think any actress who would have played it would have won those same awards that's what that's what I think cuz the role is just so huge Leia's success wouldn't have been possible if not for certain positive influences in her early years as a performer she identifies these influences as women mentors who help shape and impact her career The very first influences and mentors that I had were Zenaida Amador and Baby Barreto of Repertory Philippines. They were the two women who really they they inspired me because it these were the first this was the first director and first musical director that I worked with and they were women and they were strong women. And I guess as a little girl growing up it felt really it felt really wonderful that here were these two people that did what they loved to do and were passionate about it and and they were women. The great thing is about a lot of the people that I worked with, I mean people like Roxanne Lapus of SRO Philippines and of course the baby and Tita Bibot and then other directors as well and other actresses like wow, these were these were all people that I felt I could learn something from. Um these were all people that would shape and mold how I worked and these were p- p- people that never stopped at just an okay performance these were people that demanded excellence from me i remember tita roxan when she was directing me in paper moon i must have been about 11 or 12 and she would be relentless in coaching me tita freddy was actually in the show also um she was just 
just never stopped until she got what she wanted and she got what she knew I could deliver. Um, same goes for Tita Baby, who, when she coached me in Annie, and she really took the time to, to coach me, um, she demanded that I was excellent. She never settled for a Puedena performance. She never settled for mediocrity. And the great thing was a lot of the people that I worked with never ever did settle for mediocrity. They, were, they would only settle for excellence. They would only settle for perfect. So me growing up, I tend to expect that of myself. And I tend to expect that of people that I work with and people that I watch.